can tell you I like you a lot, babe. I wanna start at the top and the bottom, babe. Now you want to shoot with the red at the bottom, babe. You know I like when you right at the top, babe. She wants your name, name, and D-O-Yo. -Yo. I'm only doing cash, I don't need promo. I pull up to the high rise, I'm in the four four. Because like my vision is bad, I see double, and sometimes it's fuzzy and black. This is the first card. It's blue, very nice handwriting. I know the front right now. It's cute with a dog and some flowers. It's from Malia. So if you're reading me, if you're watching, it's Malia. It says, thinking of you, my kids, and helping you're doing. Okay. She said, I love you so much. You have given me some of the best memories, and I know that I haven't kept in touch like I should have, but I'm always here for you. Thank you so much. I keep all of my cards, too, by the way, like birthday cards and everything. From Kinesia. Uh -oh. Oh, this is cute. It says, tomorrow when the sun rises, it will be a new sun and a new sky shining on you and lighting the way to a new past you can never take it before. Better times are ahead, count on it. And her note says, stay strong. Oh, that's from Mike. And then it says, oh. Oh, love forever. Stay strong, you got this. That's from my wife, Kinesia. And Kashayla says, stay strong, you got this. You're going to pull through. Thank y'all so much. I love you. This one says, from Kinesia as well. Oh, I got me two cards. So special. This one says, Lord, you brought someone special to my. I pray you will bless her. Give her a day filled with your goodness touched by your love and overfilling with joy. And it's flowers all in the front. That's cute. It says, whatsoever things are loving, things are, think on these things. Philippines 4 8. They're on my mind and they're my prayers. Mikey said, love. Because Jayla said, praying for you and your loved ones. Hope you get well soon. Call me if you need anything. This one says miracle. And it says P.S. I did not lick the envelope. I already know who this card is. Oh, it's got butterflies on the front. Oh, P.S. Probably got some merch coming soon. Merch. One strong, brave, determined day at a time. Says you got this. She said, call or text. She left her number. She said, I am praying for you and I'm always here for you. Love, Miss Miller. P.S. I am working on the blanket. This one says, two miracle in your family. Love and praying for you. Hey, hold on. Now this one's kind of big. Oh, it's all blue and nice and pretty. And sympathy and friendship with caring thoughts. Oh, this one's from NAACP. Message on the card says, If only there was something that friends could say or do. Some way they might express their thoughts and help to comfort you. And yet, perhaps, <laughs> just knowing that there are those who care will help, at least in some small way, to ease the loss you bear. Leah said, I love you so much, Miracle. Kamaria said, you will be in my prayers. I love you so much. Keep thriving. Taylor said, I love you. Arian said, love you, praying for you and your family. And Jada Blunt said, so grateful for you. 
praying for you and your family. Thank y'all so much. This one is from Tia. This is what it looks like. Pray in my prayers. It's so hard to lose someone you love. And the words can take away the sadness you feel. It says, I hope it helps to remember that your loved one is in God's care. Please know that you are in my thoughts and prayers. And if you need me, I'm here. With my deepest sympathy, love, TT. Y'all really gonna make me cry. Y'all know I get very emotional. This is a booklet that my B4 made. I'm not going to read all the messages because it's a lot. But I'm going to just show you all. Like what they did. I like this one a lot. It's very, very cute. <coughs> you want to come say it to you too? <laughs> Time for the questions. First question is. First question is. Tell us how your face got so clear. Well, first of all, hold on. Okay. Well, first of all, drink a lot of water. You know, you're supposed to drink eight cups of water a day. Second of all, I stopped to touch. I stopped touching my face a lot. For one, like when I was at school or something, because touching all those doors and desks and pencils and then you touch people and touching like it's just germs and sassy. I cut back on solos. Well, obviously, I started drinking a lot of water. And then I just washed my face two times a day, morning and night. And boom, my face was getting clear. But now I'm kind of freaking out because I um, can't wash my face because of the Thing, but I uh, got some clean the wipes. Tell us about your night routine. Um, it isn't much. <laughs> I can't see. Yeah. Pop up tomorrow. Um, I get up. Um, I take a bath. Not every night because it's kind of difficult for me. So like every other night, I take a bath, lotion up, put my clothes on, um, brush my teeth. Next, and then I use mouthwash, and then um, sometimes like before I decide to wipe my face. With the cleansing wipe, I decide to like check myself out, like look in the mirror and like look at myself. Sometimes I decide to try to pop some on the blackheads or like that's why you see these because it's just to pop them. Um, and then I wash, well, I don't wash my face, but it's the cleansing wipe. And then um, I clean my ears out because right now my left ear is kind of like stopped up and like I, I lay down. And I say the Lord's Prayer. Um, I say it as soon as I lay down because I don't want to fall asleep and forget to say it. I start by saying the Lord's Prayer before I go to sleep. So, yeah. Do you ever find yourself just thinking of ways the accident could have been prevented? Um, I was unconscious for um, a very, very long time. So, I really don't remember the accident. And I'm not really supposed to speak on it a lot. So, I don't. Tell me my favorite movie. Um, Finding Dory. Probably my favorite movie. It used to be Love and Basketball, but I don't like watching it no more. I'm starting not to like watching Finding Dory either. Um, my favorite food is seafood. Just to let y'all know. I like to eat 
Sifa. Did you just take my unicorn? No. I'm not even in a like, What would you call this? I don't even, I haven't even named it yet. I'm no, like, like what kind of animal would that be? It's a unicorn. No, it's not a unicorn. It's got a pig Look nose. Look at the thing. It's got a pig nose. Oh. It's got one of them pigs. <laughs> pig. <laughs> a pig of corn. A pig of corn. Um, my favorite song. I don't even know. I know I have a favorite song. I listen, I mostly like rap. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Well, my favorite song is. <laughs> Heard that don't listen to Summer Walker yeah. or Queen Naja or Sad Songs. I like listening to <coughs> and Mad Young Boy and stuff. So I don't necessarily have a favorite song. Um, and tell yourself you was really sorry because it wasn't your fault. Um, no, I really don't ever feel like telling myself that because I don't have necessarily bits and pieces of like the car wreck. So how hard was it to shake back? Um well I'm still shaking back obviously. Um it's kinda hard. Um it's kinda not hard because I have my dad and I have all of my friends, like all of my motor skills and stuff back. I can't see clearly or anything, so I'm still in the process of shaking back physically. Um, mentally, I'm still shaking back and stuff, so yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing good, actually. I'm doing okay. Um, like I said, I've been better, of course, but I'm doing good. Um, most of the times I don't really have pain as much in my neck. I do on my left shoulder for some reason, or like both shoulders and like my upper back, kind of. Like the back of my head hurts. And my neck just feels, no you didn't come up in here smacking. My neck doesn't necessarily hurt. It just, it feels like really, really tight. When are you going back to school? I won't be back at school until mid-January, right? Mm-hmm. Mid-January. but will be half a day. Yeah, but I'm only going to be going for half a day. Um, I did go up there the other day only for like 30 minutes or 15 minutes, so. But it was just to get um like my work situation figured out yeah. in uh, my exams and stuff. How do I put my shirt on? Okay. So I just take that shirt like this and I go ahead and I put my arms in and then I pull it over my head. Help, hold on, wait a minute, it's stuck. And then I just pull it down like that. It's not hard. Okay. How was your first day as a kid when you were in elementary? That's a funny question. I really don't know. I know when I went to pre-K, I cried. So my mom and daddy were leaving me. I do remember that. Do it that only because they recorded it and it's like somewhere out there on YouTube. If you could go one place in the world, where would you go? Um, I want to travel the world. So I want to go everywhere. Okay. YOLO. I don't even know. Like Greece or like Brazil or something like. Somewhere exotic. Why not? It's out there. Might as well go. You know. When is my VA? I keep seeing it. Um, my birthday is May 15th. I was born 2003. I am a Taurus. And my birthstone is, um, it's green. What is it called? I don't know. Um, how is it like during my injury? 
I don't know. I was unconscious. I don't remember. I didn't remember being in the hospital. Obviously, I was stuffed up on drugs, but um, it was kind of hard at first. I didn't necessarily have to learn how to walk again, but I felt like I was learning how to walk again. Um, I kind of thought I was paralyzed for a minute. Um, because I couldn't feel, like, when they would be like, could you feel this and rub my legs? Sometimes I couldn't, sometimes I could. So it worried me. And then, like, of course, you know, pain and stuff. But it was, I actually felt pretty good because, you know, I had all of my family and friends, you know, they're supportive. What is your goals and aspirations and have they changed after the accident? Um, well... One of my goals was to join the military, the Air Force to be exact. Um, I do think that that has changed after my accident because um, my injuries might cause me some problems with, you know, joining the Air Force. Um, I also, I've always wanted to become, you know, like closer with God. I wanted to you know, start going to church. Not be that person that's like, oh my God, church, church, church. But like, you know, just have a closer relationship with Christ himself, you know? Um, so that is something that I have been working on. I'm gonna start praying when I feel like I need prayer. Goals, I don't wanna be rich because of course it's kind of hard to accomplish. But I do want to, I want to be stable in income. I don't want my kids to have to worry about anything. Um, my family or like my dad, you know, I want to be able to take care of them. Um, trying to stay close with my siblings. I do have older siblings on my dad's side. And, you know, me and David, of course, we're already. Close. So I'm trying to stay close, close with family, grandparents, you know, because you just never know what can happen. So that's like some goals, I guess you could say. Do I miss school? Yes and no, because for one, I dislike school. Everybody knows that. I dislike it. I just feel like it's unnecessary at this point. Um, I feel like we go to pass and we don't go to learn. I just, I don't like the school environment as a whole anyways. Um, but then again, I do miss school because I hate being cooped up in a room all day. Um, I'm not that person. I'm like a homebody, but I'm not a homebody. That makes sense. I just miss being there with my friends, you know, socializing joking around and stuff and just being out and active I just miss it so yeah I kind of miss school is it hard to do everything everyday things you should be able to do yes it is because for instance I can't drive which of course I'm not supposed to be driving right now but like if I was I couldn't turn my head and I can't see. Can't really bend down a lot. And uh, I can't do my hair, which I hate so bad. And I'm supposed to be getting it done really, really soon. So I don't, you know, mess it up too much and end up having to lose a lot of my hair because I would really be sad. And it, it's like hard for me to like walk by myself because I can't see. Um, I'm not stable all the way. I sway. Sometimes I lose my balance. It's hard for me to write as well. It's hard for me to sometimes open my drinks. Like if it, if I got like a um, a Coke bottle or something, it would be hard for me to open. I can't lift certain things. Um, what have you accomplished so far since the accident? Um, um, I've accomplished some of my strength 
back. Um, walking. That's the big one. I've accomplished writing, even though it's still kind of hard and feels fun. What career would you like to pursue and why? Well, I want to be a forensic pathologist in the Air Force. If I can't do the Air Force, I, just, I still I still want to be a forensic pathologist. I'm also thinking about being an interior designer because I love, love it. But I like forensics. It's not a consistent thing. Um, you're constantly seeing something new every day. I follow a forensic pathologist on Instagram, so I know. You see crazy stuff, and I live for that. I like it. I can sit there and I can look at stuff like that. It doesn't make me sick. Nauseous, I love it. <laughs> so that is something I want to do. Do people think you're funny? Yes. Some people don't, some people do. And that's just it. I make everyone around me laugh, so. I gotta be some. Anyways. How did you feel when your mom, sister, and brother died? When I got the news, I was sad. I cried. But then I stopped crying. Of course. Because, like, it all felt so unreal. And it still kind of feels unreal to me a little bit. Even after going to the funeral. And, you know, seeing them and stuff. It still kind of feels unreal. But, of course, I'm sad about it. Um, I feel like a piece of me is gone because it is. Actually, three pieces of me are gone. And um, I just feel like I'll never be the same. What's your favorite thing to do? Probably shop online. <laughs> right about now, it's probably shop online. But my all-time favorite would to be spend time with family and friends. That's always been my favorite thing to do. How are you thinking what happened? Like, are you recovering well? I am actually recovering well. Um, I've been having some very good process. Progress, I mean, progress, sorry. Uh, scared of death, of course, obviously, since I've been in that predicament. Probably actually more than once in my life. Um, I'm scared of clowns. Um, scared of bugs. I hate bugs. It's nasty. I hate bugs. Probably scared of snakes. I was scared of the darkness for a little while after the accident, but I think that went away. I've never been scared of the dark, so it was just a little face. What all do you plan on doing on your YouTube? Everything. Pranks, challenges, vlogs. Um, all that. I plan on doing it all. Oh, I'm ensuring my recovery. <laughs> How are you able to stay so strong? Um, it's always been like something that I'm good at. Um, I can always keep my emotions emotions locked away and don't ever let them get the best of me. Um, I also have a three-year-old little brother that I have to stay strong for and be there for. I also have to stay strong for myself because if I let myself go down that dark path, I could possibly never come out. So I have to stay strong. How I'm able to do it, I really, I really can't answer that because it's just something that I've always been able to do. What's the hardest part of the journey to recovery? Probably the fact that I don't have my mother here with me. She's always been there for me, for everything. No matter what she was going through, she was always there. So that's probably the toughest part. It's also this stupid neck brace. Like sleeping is also very hard. Because I'm the type of person who sleeps on their stomach. So, how old are you? I am 16. 16 years old. Born on May 15th. Yep, 16, 16, 16. Um, if you want to, can you explain to us what happened? Um, 
we were here in the back. Oh wait, 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 wait. In my car. We were here from the back in my car by 18 wheeler. Yeah. I can't necessarily explain what happened to myself um right now because of things that's going on. But hopefully eventually I can explain that. As of right now, all I can tell you is that I fractured my neck. <laughs> how long will it take for your recovery? And how do you take it without your mom every day? Um, it's about six to eight weeks for my physical recovery. Um, emotional and mental recovery will probably be a while. Um, but six to eight weeks for the neck brace. Um, how do I do it every day with that? Um, I have my dad. I have my grandmas, my big papa, my friends, my best friends. That's how I do it every day without my mom. And I do it every day for my mom and my brother and my sister. So I'm doing all this for them. They're probably watching over me right now, smiling, laughing at me, making fun of me probably. I am doing it with my mom. Cause she's still here. She's in me, in my heart. When will I get to see you? Well, buddy, you have a car. You have a license. You've been going everywhere else. You just tell me when you want to come see me and I'll give you the okay and the address. And you can come see me anytime you want to. Because I can't go nowhere. I am on house arrest. I'm just kidding. It's just a joke. But I can't go anywhere. Not by myself. Well, not without my dad. So, um, How's your family? We are good. Me and my dad just found a place that we'll be moving into by the weekend, so I'm super excited. How do you feel about the passing of your family? This is the last question too. So, um, it hurts sometimes, of course, which is understandable. Sometimes I feel empty, um, but I try to keep myself busy. So I don't get too deep into my thoughts. Oh, my head looks a mess. But I try to keep myself busy so I don't get too deep into my thoughts. Or too deep into that dark hole. So, um, I feel sad, empty, hurt sometimes. Well, I feel hurt all the time. Pieces of me are missing. So, that's how I feel. But like I said, they're still here with me. Um, they live within me. Um, I watch that beautiful slideshow um, just about every day. Um, I try not to though because when I do watch it, I do get very, very sad. And I start crying. Crying is good. So if you ever feel like you need to cry, cry because it's good, it relieves some of the stress and the weight on your shoulders. So if you feel like you need to cry, cry. Tell someone you're crying so you aren't crying by yourself necessarily. Even if they aren't physically with you, they can be your shoulder to cry on. If you feel depressed, like you're going into depression, tell someone so they can help pull you away from that. Talk to your peers. Tell them you love them. Have a good day. Anything. Anything. Tell them anything. Talk to anyone about your problems. Do not hold anything in. I know I said I have a habit of, you know, like, keeping my emotions held in. But sometimes I do talk to people about how I feel. I do. I talk to my dad because, you know, me and my dad lost, we lost my mother and my brother too. So we have that to talk about to each other. We're helping each other. So 
talk, talk, cry, do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel better. Okay? Um, hope you appreciate my little words of advice. Hope you appreciate this video. And DM me or you can spam the comments with whatever you want to see next. I know for sure that I will be posting a video on Thursday because I go see the orthopedic for my spine. So I will be recording that and I will be posting that for you guys on Thursday. Anything else you want to see, just let me know in the comments. Oh, I can't do that. Like, comment, and subscribe. I love you, Miracles Angels. Kisses. Or should I be like... I love you, Michael. I just kiss this. What y'all think? Cause I don't know. But as of right now, peace.